Thanks for staying up late with us. I'm Tatum Gwynn. What you say matters, and in this case, what you post matters. Parents, maybe that is something that you brought up around the dinner table tonight after a middle schooler sent out a threat this morning. Police were called. He told them it was just a joke. Now we know in this day and age, that's not something to joke about. Jonathan Palasik spoke with police this afternoon. Jonathan, what did they tell you about this morning scare? Good evening, Tatum. Police say that the middle schooler made this post for his own entertainment with no actual plans to harm anybody. Though tonight, police are offering a warning. Making those kinds of posts are no laughing matter. Words carry a lot of weight. A 13-year-old boy learned that this morning after he posted to Snapchat, threatening harm at Bowie and Crockett Middle Schools. The subject explained that he was responsible for sending out the text message at the time. He thought it was going to be entertaining for him. He did it for fun, and there was no actual threat that was at any point that did exist. It was just him playing around. This prank carries serious consequences for the student. Tonight, a word to the wise. But I would advise kids that think that they're going to play around to absolutely avoid this type of behavior because it is going to end up with them being taken into custody and they're going to be sitting in front of a judge having to explain why they thought it would be funny to post something on here that's going to affect our community the way this type of incident affects our community. There's, of course, the, the punishment that will be taken care of by the school and that can lead up to possible expulsion. Uh, for our side of it, it is going to be uh, filed with the criminal court. He'll most likely be put on juvenile probation, uh, be assigned uh, community service and possibly be fined, but that's up to the, the court. While no one was ever in danger, police say they understand the concerns raised by parents. We had a lot of parents that they see this post and they immediately say, well, I'm keeping my kid home. I'm not sending my kid to school. And, uh, and that fear is understandable. I mean, that child is the most precious thing in the world to them. So it makes sense to me that they would want to safeguard that child. But at, at the same time, you know, the education must continue. Now, the teen is facing a Class A misdemeanor, which is just a step below a state felony. And according to police's knowledge right now, they believe that the teen was acting alone. Reporting live in Odessa, Jonathan Plasek, News West 9.